Rock, paper, scissors, sheep. Rock, paper, scissors, sheep. Rock, paper, scissors. What the, is that? Huh? What? Dynamite. <laughs> it's time for Guys Talk Knives, The Missing Live. Booyah! Missing live episode of Guys Talk Knives because we went to Blade Show. This is the live we didn't live when we should have lived. We really, we should have lived it, but we were live so much that we couldn't live the live. We were actually well, driving during the live. Well, we were. Well, we could have lived from the road. We could have live drive. We could have lived. Lived? <laughs> could have driven and living. It's the living episode. Guys, we did not With get Jeremy to do the. Uh, the He's just gonna talk while I talk. That's just I haven't recuperated. Go. I know from none of us have. No, you We're actually have. filming this the week after Blade Show. Yes, and I'm on ten days straight from the beginning That's through Blade Show. Yeah, well, it is what it, <laughs> no, is. it is. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm taking the weekend off, but Good you know you. that's how it's gonna happen. I slept a full day when we got back. But you should <laughs> have. <laughs> and by taking the weekend off, he means that he's gonna take most of tomorrow off, but probably do some stuff for work, and then Saturday morning. He'll work a little bit more. He'll end up really taking Monday off. I feel like <laughs> he's going to use his power tools to get his lawn, lawn stuff. Didn't you get like lawn? I can't tell his the lawn time. stuff. Never mind. Can't even tell the joke. <laughs> so here's <laughs> what happens, three though. Times the, SM, like, oh. the SMKW Army does not sleep. No, heck no. They don't. They happen all the well, time. I mean, and so since I'm point. basically, Melina and I are in charge of sure. making sure that keeps going. Yeah. It's there. You're so exactly if you right. bling in the messenger at 11.30 p.m., it's yep. one of us answering you back. Bleary-eyed. <gasps> Are you picking stuff off my head? It was just one. It was you like, have well, to you eat it if you pick it off. I'm kidding. <laughs> Gorilla rules. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. Yes, indeed. Ever. Uh, make sure you're liking, sharing, and subscribing. Host to of Blade Show 2019. And 2020, I'm Which pretty sure. Which was a rousing success. Happen. It was a rousing success. It was awesome. They've Best heard all about it ever. several times so far now, yeah. by the time this airs. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> this is the post, post, post This whole show future ever. thing that we do really blows our minds. It hurts my brain. Case. Anyhow. Yeah. We're going to do what would have been the live episode that we skipped going down to Blade Show. Yes. Yeah, so let's do it. Which is great, because we have some really cool stuff on we the We do. Table. I mean, some like some stuff that I haven't seen, stuff that we wrote up on the website that I haven't seen yet. I got to see all of it. She did, because if you haven't noticed so far, yeah. the live episode items are the swags reports items. So we Ooh. double dip yeah. and hit you twice. Yeah. So if you don't want to put up with us talking for you know half an hour or whatever. Sure. You can put up with me talking for like 30 seconds a day. 30 or if you're bright, seconds. you do both. Right. True. That's right. So you, you get the lowdown on the item. Let's start off with the first thing, which is the bargain of the week. And it really is. It's I've new, too. This, I've looked at this so many times, picking things for emails, mm -hmm. um, and have yet to actually have it in hand. Um, and I completely and totally dig it. So this Kershaw, is the Kershaw Weston. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it is $18. $18, little man. Put that in, in my, my hand. Yeah. It <laughs> every time. You guys are every so time. weird. <laughs> you need to go watch some movies. Exactly. Well, where's my list of homework? We'll do it. We will do it. Yeah, we will uh -huh. make we really you should have put, all say. We should put that as a page on the website. Yeah. List yeah, of movies. Okay, for no, swags. Here's what you need. I want in the comments on this video. Tell movie titles that swag should watch. Classics. All right. Hold on. No more westerns. Okay. I've watched enough oh. westerns my entire life. My father is the biggest fan of them. Anything John Wayne, I've already seen it. Okay. Okay. So Everything but, else. So Go right ahead. now on the top of the list is Jay, Jay and Silent Bob. Yes, yeah, Strike Back. Yeah. yeah. That's what we were doing. Yeah, that was, was the Jay and Silent there. Bob. Yeah, Strike Back. Yep. That movie list is going to be so freaking huge. And I we'll know. just pass it over to Angela in the office as well because she's yeah, seen she nothing. Yeah, she needs it as well. Absolutely. Because she lived in West Virginia and they don't get movies apparently. Oh my gosh. So not <laughs> Westerns, but Kershaw Weston. Yes. Let's hit the highlights on this thing. Uh, it's a 3.4 inch 8CR 13 MOV spear point blade. I'm going to lift my head up so John doesn't yell at me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it has speed safe assisted opening with a mm -hmm. flipper, uh, glass filled nylon front scale, stonewash black steel back with a frame lock, um, ambidextrous tip up pocket clip, 4.4 yep. inches closed, weighs in at 4 ounces, and it's a little bit over 7.5 inches long. Yeah, I got the stonewash Overall. finish on the blade. Uh, I like the little false edge at the top, the swedge, the deep swedge on this. It, it has a lot of details for an $18 knife. It's a for great real. EDC. And, and the action the, is that speed safe. Yeah. And flip it over on that. I mean, even the even the, the spacer is nice and pretty. Oh, yeah. 
here, let's go back. Got a little bit of, got a little right bit of detail on the spacer. Yeah. The spacer right there. At $18 for a Kershaw? Come on. Brand new Kershaw. Yeah, yeah brand new Kershaw. This is part of that whole budget line of yeah. Kershaw. It's nice. You know, a lot of companies are staging. going that route. Do it. Was, do it for staging. Do it for staging. Okay, okay, staging. Okay. The first that, open that, 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 is for yourself, not even staging. I do, how do you like want here. me? Staging. Staging. Not staging. Stage. <laughs> Get your hands away <laughs> from the knife. Here you go. This wow, is why that you don't funny. do the fake live live. That's right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I did it. There you go. So they can see it pop out. <laughs> I like this. 18 bucks from Kershaw. Brand yeah. new. Got them on the website right now. SMKW.com. A lot of companies are doing, are doing a budget-friendly line, <laughs> and I think it's the best move in the world. Would that fit in your pocket? Like in a regular pan pocket? Is it too big? Um, it'd be too big. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you really need to go in the pan pocket? For women, is it like going to be like a three and a half, four inch knife? Probably going um, pretty well, like a squid. It honestly just really depends on the pants because you have. It's not just how deep they are, mm -hmm. but the direction in which they go. Because sometimes they'll kind of go back, and sometimes they'll go forward. So like wow. the ones that I'm wearing, I can put it in like this. But other times, like sometimes I can put my knife in like this in my uh -huh. pocket. Other times I got to put it in like that in my pocket. That's so really weird because ours basically annoying. just go straight down. Yeah. yeah, on jeans or on everything, cargos, whatever. Yeah. So like. In the back sometimes. Hmm. I like the, it's not a, an extreme deep carry pocket clip, but it's pretty close. Yeah. And it, of course, again, ambidextrous. Yep. I 18 it. bucks from Kershaw. That's the bargain of the week. Yeah. You know, actually, Russell from Artisan showed me that if you take like a folder and you put it um, upside down, and then you can put it in your back pocket and it will carry a lot better. Sure. I was sure. surprised. I don't I like don't, sitting on you know, stuff I'm that already shocking pointy, though. used to my lopsided wallet butt. So putting That's something else in there. That's why a long time ago I moved to a front carry on my wallet because mm. I just can't do it. No, I, no, I got the uh, yeah. I got the wallet. You got the Costanza wallet. I got that. I have yeah. a wristlet. Uh, it's not that bad, <laughs> but because you know, <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing <laughs> yeah. in it. You know, that can't be nearly as bad as it used to be. No, I'm sure it was way worse in the past. Yeah, for sure. I just don't carry cash anymore. Right. You know, it's so pitiful. I look at my wallet and you think I'd have a lot of money. You open it up, it's just a bunch of Taco Bell receipts and like right. from Walmart. And ketchup packet. Right. I don't like ketchup. I'm stealing Maybe your ranch. Notes. It's happening. Let's go on to the... Yes, yes next up is the Gerber Harsey Air what, Ranger. What, what is it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's something new. And I, again, this is one that I've used on an email recently Yeah. that I haven't seen yet in person, but I love the way it looks. I, I'm, get, I'm getting You're this getting thumb there, stud stuff. I figured out that you have to go like A like Fonzie. That's this is this is the key uh. to thumb stud flipping. Go A and it goes. I'm just saying. And he sits around in his backyard. He's got his pra it's like a practice butterfly knife, but it's a practice thumb stud knife. So, and he sits in his backyard, just flick, flick. And you, Molina's like, what is he doing now? You, you, <laughs> sit, you sit around and you smoke a pipe. That's not that kind of pipe, but you smoke a pipe yeah. like I do. Sure. And you have a lot of you can just sit there and fidget. I almost did my finger right across that blade. Andy in the backyard, flipping his trainer thumb stud with Let's a hookah. Look at this thing. That's the kind of pipe we're talking about. <laughs> Guys, this is a little EDC, modern EDC from Gerber. It is the Gerber Harsey Air Ranger. Jason hit the specs on it for the 3.3 on the inch, high carbon, stainless steel, partially serrated, which we don't do a whole lot of those no. on the show. Partially serrated clip point blade, uh, thumb stud opening with a liner lock. Um, sorry, I lost myself. <laughs> You just Completely. get right back in there, boy. It like says that. it has the interlock mechanism for added safety. No clue what that means. Flip it over. I see no interlock. That must be what they're calling their liner lock on this one. I guess. I don't know. I don't have a clue what that means. Okay. We'll well, look it up and figure it yeah. out. Uh, CNC machined aluminum handles, which those handles turned out great. That's the showstopper right there. Yeah. They have such a good texture. I mean, that is all. Yeah. You can hear that noise? Uh, all right, that's you can do the nine to five sound. That's the sound of a man wow. working on a train. I guess it could be the under the board walk. Oh yeah, that's what slide it, too. Under yeah. the uh, man, that's like um. old school. Yes, it is. Lanyard no, hole. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lanyard hole to make it Jared approved. Um, Four point <laughs> two inches closed. Seven point three inches overall. Two point six ounces. I mean, the thing weighs next to nothing. And the price on it's outstanding. It's 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. 20 bucks. <laughs> it's 20 bucks. <laughs> you know, and the serration on that isn't a huge serration. <laughs> no. It's enough to get the job done. 
Somebody um, asked me this week if that came in a plain blade. It does not. No, it does not. You know, I like serrated blades, but I mostly like them whenever they are just a little bit. I don't like the whole knife being serrated. Right, so much. you like a partial serration. Yeah. I like it when it's deep like that instead of being most of the blade. That reminds yep. me of the old school spider coat serrations you used to see. Sure. Looks a lot like it. Yeah. That where, where they'd have the small scallop and the big scallop. Yep. Yeah. That's just a great little knife to throw yeah. in your pocket. And that, that handle feels good. Yeah. It that does. handle feels really, really nice in your hand. Yep. That is something like new it. from Gerber. Yeah. The Harsey Air Ranger. Harsey. There's something to be Harsey. said about an aluminum handle. You shed so much weight. True. That is true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're going to carry it all the time in your pocket, it's nice not to have something. Again, as somebody who's been carrying that right. copper shark for a while, a little bit lighter. <laughs> a little bit lighter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, I love my copper shark. So let's go on to uh, Pocket Candy Tradition. EDC of oh, the Week, EDC sir. of the Week. EDC of the Week. EDC I of the week. love oh, 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 this oh, one. Oh, oh. A little different look for the EDC here. of the Week. It's gorgeous. Oh, this is I the Peacock that. Appaloosa Barlow from Case. Yeah, the one-blade Barlow version. We Which, actually have this in two blades as well. We do, yeah. Look at the colors on that handle. Show the back of it. The back I will show the ones. back of it. Jason's going to hit the... Here's the cool thing that I like about all the Appaloosa-style bone work from Case is every single one you look at is going to be different. So the front and back scales on this knife that you see on the next one you pull out of the box are going to be completely and totally unique. So you're almost at, like a fingerprint. Yeah, it's a Barlow pattern, guys. If you're listening on the podcast, it is a standard Barlow pattern, one blade, clip point blade on that, true sharp surgical steel, nickel silver bolsters with the double X in the front bolster, not in the back bolster. That's genuine yep. bone handles that have been dyed to be their little peacock Appaloosa thing. Uh, brass pins and liners. Fine. And uh, that pretty much sums that whole yeah, life three, up. Yeah, three point four inches closed, three point five ounces overall. Um, just a. We'll throw the link tremendous. in for both of these because the other one's yeah. actually a spear point. Yes. No, the liner's gold. They're not gold. They're brass. They're brass. You ain't putting no gold and no knife. Well, it was a different color and it was pretty. That's all I was saying. It's a nice knife. Pop it open. I'm all the way. Have I seen? I'm trying to think if I've seen a case. It's that a half had stop anything as well. but. Just yeah. I got it. You freak me out with traditional. Don't they all have? Don't almost all cases have brass liners? Like, almost all of them. Almost all. Y'all, I messed yeah. up. I didn't put fingerprints on it. It happens. I'll tell you. I get yeah. over here and I feel like, did I wash my hands this week? You know. <laughs> like, <laughs> and touch them. Is that dirty? My and God. then she just doesn't care. Yeah, it's like no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Here, look at my nails. They're good. Yeah. It just that's. I swear I don't know what I'm getting. What I'm doing. <laughs> Digging <laughs> in the hands. dirt outside it's what somehow. It looks like. Like, I'm really like, She's ah. out there burying a bone before she comes inside. <laughs> but I, I do. It's a hand Any, bone. I know we've done. <laughs> it was a purple bone. Appaloosa, green Appaloosa in the past. Yes. Uh, this is the peacock, so you get a little, a little of the blue, a little bit of the green in there. And if you don't recall, they it. pulled that Barlow pattern out of the vault this year. That's, so it's going to go back yeah. away. So that we've done a bunch of different Barlows. We've had a bunch of different Barlows I mean, from well, cases. We've already this year. seen the doctor's knives. Oh yeah, they're that having, was last year. Yeah, they're, that was last year. They're not yep. back. That just is such a good looking knife. And again, the one you get is not going to look like your neighbors if they got one as well. That's true. EDC of the week. EDC of the week. Great knife. Yes. Uh, we, I mean, did we talk 20, about the price? No, we didn't. Sixty-two bucks. Sixty-two bucks okay. for that. Little and again, that's there. for a Barlow that is a probably this year only pattern that you're going to see. You won't see many of them in the future until they bring them back out. It's for a one of a kind die, die job on that bone. Um, that, that's a nice little bucks. knife to yeah. have. It, it is slowly maybe becoming my favorite. Really? Yeah. I don't I think really I'll ever like be a Barlow guy. guy but I that's think just, it's just got a, such a pretty, like... It it's is very pretty. classic it's simple. looking. Yes, no, and this is like Granddad's knife. It just it, really no, is. completely, yeah. It really is. If you just if you want to get into the slip joint game, go find a Barlow. They're, they're kind of no-nonsense. It's one blade or two blades, and they're just, they're just a good knife. When I asked the question to the SMKW Army, what was your first knife? What was the first? It's almost always a Barlow. Well, who Barlow was or a camp knife, like was a it, scout knife. Can I mean, we talked to, and this first was a Barlow? That his dad knocked the tip off of. And, and then he and, sharpened on the sidewalk? Yeah. 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 yeah the si he sidewalk ground. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, that, that Barlow is a classic for a reason there. Yeah. They've been around forever. So that is the yeah. uh, EDC of the week. Pick up Appaloosa one blade Barlow. Two blades available on the web. Love it. Double X. Fixed blade of the week. Oh, Hella Myra. 
Love it. I love this one. Yeah. And this is the limited edition. Um, anytime we were talking, we were actually drooling about, about Hella earlier before the show. It's hella good. It is hella it good. It is hella good. Went by their booth at Blade Show, and you just have this <clears throat> rack of gorgeous wood handle knives. Um, and they all have, they're all useful and functional and just Pretty. Hugely attractive. Yeah, they're yeah. just pretty. They're just hugely attractive. Traditional uh, Norwegian knife uh, made in Norway. Yeah, so this is the Myra Limited Edition. It's 140 bucks, a little bit under that. Um, limited to just 250 pieces. So mm-hmm. there's not many of these out there. It's a 2.8 oh, triple. Sorry, John. I was trying to turn it around. I was, I was pulling you. Go ahead. 2.8 triple laminated stainless steel drop point with a mirror finish. Uh-huh. It's got a curly birch handle with a red leather and oak accents. You can see that darker oak Did, at the very front and, of that. And Swag's point out to him what we found out about this, which is kind of cool, about the red leather accent. What does it match? It matches the thing right there. Yeah, so if you look at the leather. Oh, yeah, the stitching on the on the, the sheath. Yeah. That's very cool. Yeah. I think it's really pretty, but my favorite yeah. part, you're, you're going to hit that at the very end. Right what? there. That's oh, my favorite part. 1.9 so ounces. Yeah, it weighs so nothing. So light. The cool thing about this is it looks like a showpiece, but this is a user. Sure. Yeah. It really is. And you put it down in that little skin and even style sheath. Here's the thing with any of their knives. Over time, it's going to pick up the, especially if you're using it, it's going to pick up the oils in your hand. It's going to pick up from use and wear. And it's just going to look better and better and better over time. I think this is actually like yeah, probably it is yeah. No, that's, I think that was two point six, I mean, three point two, something like that, and that's under two ounces. Yeah. I love the fact that it's so light because you could potentially carry it at all times with whatever you're doing and it not weigh down your belt. You know what oh, I'm right. saying? Oh right, yeah, it could be a, a a fixed blade EDC easily. Easily. Oh yeah, yeah. I I love everything they do, and that that little limited edition Myra is uh, and it's, it's such a pretty sheath too. I like that it's, a lot. There's something about that no nonsense traditional look that they have. Sure, so you know that is that is a no very nonsense. Simple, but then you're talking about curly birch, which is sure not easy to work with. Coming out to be that. I mean, that's that's yeah. one piece of leather. And it's the way that it's yeah. shaped too. You got a really good feel on it. Fold that over, stitch it. Fold this over, stitch it. Put a rivet at the top. Done. Boom. We <laughs> say it like that, but you know someone spent way more time than that on it. Oh, well, design it, sure, but after that, they just stamp the sucker out. And, right. I mean, it just, it, it's, there's something, there's something beautiful about everything they do. Oh, yeah. There, there's tradition and care and time and everything into that. Right. I know, it's nice. Yeah. That's the limited edition Hella. Very, very Myra, good. it is hella awesome. You know, we really like it, it whenever we all go good. just a little bit quiet, give it a moment of silence. Say <gasps> In that break. Like when the food first comes out. Mm, yeah, that's right. Nobody talks right. for a minute. <laughs> so next up is the Pocket Candy Traditional. Um, another yes. good pick. You're a good pick. Yeah, I think you should sing your song. Do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> she probably doesn't even remember how it goes. I do remember how it goes. We're going to make her learn it. It's going to be a nope. test. Nope. Nope. She I will watch the it. movies. I'm not doing it. This. <laughs> this is a... Peanut. Three blade, bare head, campfire bone, peanut. Three blades, and you don't see that a whole lot no, you don't. in a peanut. Most of the times you either see a one bladed peanut or a two, most times a two bladed peanut. Sure. Yeah, one blade peanuts don't show up that much either, but the, right. the three blade is a, is the true uh, Bigfoot, the Sasquatch, if you will, <laughs> of peanuts. Right. And I have to tell a secret about this one because we were filming the Swags Report and we were talking about the three blades that are here. And I'm going to tell on her just for a second because I, we pointed out that's a clip point, a spay, and a pen. And she goes, a spay? What is that? I said, that's for neutering animals. Yeah. That is for spaying your animals. That is for lopping off the, the goodies. Yep. That's so you don't stab them in the... <clears throat> for real. That's messed up. That's messed up. <laughs> it's awful. I took my cat in to go. Get, he like had like something wrong with his cheek, so we took him in, you know, get taken care of. Mm-hmm. And he came back, you know, they neutered him too, and he like didn't trust us for like a whole year. Well, you know, don't don't he was like, "Don't get me near that car." Sure. So did you see what they did to me? I'm missing stuff. I came with parts. I came back with no parts. <laughs> and it's easier with female pets because there's just it's all internal and it's, yeah. it's a little bit easier. But especially with with dogs or cats, you're just like, "What did you do?" <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I'm not going anywhere with you for a while. But that's, that's that was penance. the intention of that blade. Yeah, that when it was there. But this is the three blade again. It, well, is it also the... works good for opening boxes. But here's oh, my sure. thing. Okay, here's my thing. We, we keep. What are you guys doing with your spay blade? Anything, everything. Cut Why spay things? <laughs> Just random things. Just ra- I found a cat in the neighborhood. 
to spay it. <laughs> but that's what that's for. <laughs> I think that that should be a mark on the mission. We should make him go spay something. Oh my no. god, no. No. Be no. 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 I think Jason, we can find Jason's, a farmer to let us do it. Jason's oh my god. At this so this, again, Bearhead, Campfire Bone, <laughs> Three Blade Peanut. Look at the bone on this. Yep. Campfire Bone's amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's pretty. And again, it's almost like the Peacock Appaloosa. It all takes that campfire dye and the... It all takes it differently. All is it dyed with genuine does. campfire? It is. Yeah, they just like <laughs> it, roast it, it, it like a marshmallow. It takes the dye and everything a little bit differently. So um, any of the work they do on a, on a case knife, it, it's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit different. Um, including even the jigging they do. I, I dig it. Did you hear that? <laughs> a little bit different. A little, a little bit different. Just so uh, like, True Sharp boys. Surgical Steel Blades... Campfire bone handles, <laughs> brass pins and liners, nickel silver bolster. It has the case oval script shield uh -huh. on the side. Uh, two and a seventh, two and seven eighths. I'll get this right in a minute. Two and seven eighths inches <laughs> closed. One point four four ounces, made in the USA by Case. I it, come on, it's a three blade peanut. I mean, it goes down really small. It does. That would definitely go in your pocket. It's a peanut. Did you find it? Found a peanut. I no. Found a peanut seen. just now. I just now found a peanut. Found a peanut just now. Can you all talk about finding nuts later on? Wow! wow. <laughs> Boom! Wow! Well played. And we make it. <laughs> yes. I, I love Burn. the peanut as a pattern because you can drop that underneath, carry your wallet in the front, back, doesn't matter. You can drop that in your pocket and it just kind of disappears. Mm -hmm. Just kind of goes away. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, that'd be a good one for a girl to carry in their pocket. I can see that, yeah. Because, yeah. sure. like I said, you know, your pockets are small, so it doesn't necessarily just go away. And you can still find it just 53 bucks. Fingers reach. We For mean going away. When we say go away in your pocket, we want it to go away in the pocket. Well, no, what I mean is guys have like deep pockets. So, like a smaller sure. knife is going to go to the bottom of your pocket. And dudes normally carry like more yeah, stuff yeah. than girls right. do. Right. So, sure. that'd be. But that's, a, that, a, that's just a. It's I party. Like it. It's just yeah. a great little knife. It's quite nice. Yeah. It's quite that's nice. That's the uh, pocket candy traditional of the week. Yes. Kaiser are Yorkie. Yeah. It is pocket, the candy. pocket candy modern. modern. Yes. Oh, I like it a lot. It's just a fancy little When the action gasm happens for Andy, he gets quiet. Right. I know, right? I like it a lot. I like it very much. He's the almost excited as his uh, lettuce wraps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Kaiser, you know, the sheepdog, probably the best selling Kaiser mm -hmm. by far. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Yorkie, so smaller <laughs> than the sheepdog. Um, it's $159. It's a 2.5 inch. S thirty five VN drop point. So one hundred sixty bucks for a titanium handle and S thirty five. What's the is finish on that blade? Because it's probably there, right? It's stone wash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, manual flipper, gray titanium handle with a frame lock. Uh, it's a so good, let's debate this for a, a good second. Thick frame is this lock gray too. titanium or is that just titanium? I would say it's just titanium. That's what I would say too. Yeah. We should start doing that. It's just titanium. Well, Kaiser calls it well, gray titanium. Do they? Yes, because you do well, have. Kaiser is wrong. You do because titanium can take a. Dye. That's a hole. I know it's a hole, but like... Put your finger accent. in there? My you know, Jared asked the exact same question. Is that for anything? We looked it up. It's just an no, accent. No, it's just, just an accent. It's just a hole. It's just a hole. It's a circular yeah. accent. <laughs> I mean, you could probably helicopter this pretty well. Let's not. No. Again, if it was... If you did that same Wait, accent, though... you gotta though, put it in a hole. <laughs> no <laughs> Leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> leave it. Leave it. <laughs> if you did that same... <laughs> A bigger hole in the sheepdog, I could clip a cigar with it. Huh. A bigger hole in the sheepdog. <laughs> I mean, we're we just talking about spaying. I guess with a little tiny demi tass cigar, you could, you could probably. That's right. Get your little swisher sweet. Just put that right in. Ew. No, I mean a cigar, not some weird cigarillo paper thing. I mean a real cigar. I mean Look a hand rolled cigar. Of that blade, it's very different. I'm gonna hold it back down here. Yeah. I mean, so at it's first it looks like just a spear like point. Like a leaf and a then, spear had I'm a baby. I'm not going to try to touch the but I'm going to barely touch it. But this portion from the tip to about there goes more straight. It does. Than a normal spear. Sure. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, is it just me or like every time I get a knife, I have to touch the blade? Oh, I just, we all do. I have to. So I have like to you touch can it. feel the bite of a blade by going like that. It's one of the very first things that I do with a knife. Right. Every one. I'm like, touch oh, it. I got to feel that. Yeah. Yeah. And if it cuts How sharp like, is it? Did you guys notice at the uh, blade show whenever a designer handed us their custom or one of their things, they would go, that's super sharp? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, they're just warning you. If you cut yourself, it's your own fault. It's your own fault. Because I'm, it's I super sharp. I let you know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I cut six people with it today I, just to make sure. We, we've <laughs> talked to people who, though, when you even do this just to feel bite, they'll just lay open a finger. Oh, That's yeah. how sharp the blade is. you got to be careful. That's yeah. for certain. 
Yeah, the Yorkie's a. It, it was designed by Ray Laconic, Laconico. Am I saying what that is right? it? How's it? How's it pronounced? Laconico. 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 Uh, Ray, Ray Laconico, Laconico designed this. Uh, tip up titanium clip on here. Uh, the frame lock. Look how. How beefy that frame lock is on nice. a really small knife. Nice. It's nice. Uh, 3.6 inches closed, 6.1 inches overall, right under three ounces. Yeah, if you're looking for a little gentleman's folder that's modern, yeah. this is a great knife to have. It's fantastic. Ding. Not too big, not too small. Just you know what's in your pocket. Right. Just right. It is the baby bear of the Kaiser line. Aww. I like it. Is he looking is for the mama his brother bear? bear? Which one was the one that was that was just right? Was it? It's the baby bear, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Went to? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It was the baby bear. The baby bear was always right. just right. Yes, this is the baby bear of the Kaiser line. <laughs> just right. You're the baby bear. That's right. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. <laughs> and he's the mama bear. Here you Thanks. Go. <laughs> Thanks. You're just so nurturing. Does Why that make Helen? you the papa bear? Huh? That's weird. I'm not papa bear. I'm grandpa bear. This is Goldilocks. <gasps> Do these look like Goldilocks? Too? No, they do not. No, that's that's a that's a tremendous knife though. And next up is the premium pick. Yas. The Benchmade Freak. Freak. Super Freak. Super Freak. I Super love freaky. that. Might I, be my favorite Benchmade style. It's and it is this version gorgeous. of the Freak is just. I mean, it is. It gorgeous. pops. All it the really way. is like from you know, and it, yeah. it's not an overly expensive Benchmade. It's one hundred and ninety-two dollars. Right. It's not bad. All right, guys, if you're listening on the podcast, we're looking at some G10 that's been sculpted that is just unbelievably awesome just beginning. If you know what the Freak looks like, it is a Freak G10 handles with these anodized liners and barrel spacers. Yeah. Yes. Whoa. I swear, it looks like, you know whenever you put paint down and you just, like, mix them together? That's literally what it looks like on there. Oh, yeah. It kind of does, yeah. Like a, like, Am- you know, Bob Ross pocket trees. clip on this sure. thing. Uh, the blade is, I think it's a Cerakote finish on that. It is. Uh, yeah, it's black Cerakote. Cerakote. What oh, is the black. steel? It's a uh, 3.6 inches of CPM M4 super steel. Mm-hmm. Dual thumb studs. Dual thumb studs. Boy. Axis Can lock, of course, because it's free. Can I G10. use the thumb stud? As of course, I'm looking for the lock in yeah. the middle of it. G10 mm-hmm. handle, ambidextrous tip up pocket clip. 4.8 inches closed. 8.4 inches, almost eight and a half inches yeah. overall. You almost got knuckles. I'm gonna take it back. 4.3 ounces, made in the USA by Benchmade. Um, it's, yeah. It's super cool. Yeah, it's really yeah. thick hard. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. If you throw it across the room, don't stab me. You're going to stab no, it right into the monitor. My problem is that on the live at Blade Show, I threw a knife. That was so great. I was that like, was so great. Remember she threw it on the table? Oh, that's right. It happens. <laughs> Breathe. Have faith in me. Have a little it's not like I got no, a butterfly knife in my hand. Yeah. The way this one's designed, it just pops straight open. Can you do I, that again? Yeah. Yeah. Look, he's stating it right too. See, it's just a it is just a gorgeous, <sighs> gorgeous knife. We're not gonna let you do it. <laughs> no, we don't have that no, kind of time. No. <laughs> I sat here and tried to do it with my own knife. Bitch but... made freak. This is one version yeah. of freak. There are others. But, uh, I like this one. It likes you. It too. might be my favorite of that. It might that probably just, is again my favorite bench made style is the freak, and I like that one a lot. I love all like the details to it from yeah. just like. I like that the blade seems to be up and offset just a little bit. Just yeah. Tad, so yeah. your knuckles are way lower than where that cutting mm-hmm. edge is. So you could really get some torque on that. I, I dig some it. Torque. I dig it. Or do your recap, sir. That's one I would wear. Do my recap. Lipstick. I enjoy your recap. You enjoy the recap. Yeah, yeah just because. because spot. Yeah, because I like to see if you can hit them all. Okay, let's see. We got the Kershaw Weston. This thing was eighteen bucks. Yes. Eighteen awesome. bucks. We got the GRA or GFN handle on the front. We got a steel liner on the back. Frame lock. I don't remember the steel, but I bet it's right here. It's 8CR13 MOV with a yep. stonewash finish. Guys, just a nice little speed safe everyday carry with the ambidextrous pocket clip. That's the Kershaw titanium. Weston right there. Gerber Harsey Air Ranger. It is a thumb stud opener. Partially serrated blade, and I want to say that this one was, I don't remember the steel. Uh, high carbon. Stainless. High carbon stainless steel on this one with the aluminum handles, which really are the showstopper. Oh, they feel so I good. Agree. Uh, Guys, this is just a little liner lock from Gerber, and it, it is inexpensive. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Twenty, 20 bucks. bucks. Love this thing. So you can get both of those. That's right. Period. 
EDC of the week. We're going traditional this week with <laughs> the uh, Case Barlow Appaloosa Peacock Appaloosa Bone Barlow with the double X nickel silver bolsters, brass Ooh. pins and liners, True Sharp surgical steel blades, half stops, all good on this thing. And you're looking at sixty yeah. bucks, right? 60, uh, Sixty-two overall. Sixty-two overall. So really, you get thing. all three of those, and then get free shipping. Right. Very good. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Free priority <laughs> mail mathed. shipping. Limited edition. You have like in two days. Limited edition Hellemeyer triple laminated steel in this blade. You've got Ooh. oak, red leather, and curly birch handles on this. You get the matching leather sheath that has the stitching that matches the leather it's in the so handle. Groovy. This thing is beautiful. Only what, 250 made? Um, yeah, 250 made. 250 made of these things. I like this little bad boy. In fact, it's just. $140. Gonna, I'm just going to. Why are they always right, boys? Right here. It's going to stay right there. Because it's a bad boy. It bad is a bad girl. boy. It could be a bad sexist. girl. <laughs> Sounds sexist. Uh, EDC, uh, I'm sorry, pocket, pocket Candy Traditional. We're going to yes. have a, a case three-bladed peanut. I'm going to leave it closed just because it's hard to get open. But there are three blades in there, a quick point, a spay, and a little pin blade. This is just your standard traditional uh, peanut pattern with campfire bone handles, genuine bone on that. <coughs> the uh, case oval script shield, true sharp surgical steel. It's all Three-blade peanut, the Sasquatch yeah. of the peanut line. Absolutely. More blades than you're going to get anything else. And you can find this. You can find your peanut at smkw.com. Right. Yeah, so get your peanut. What was the price on this? I don't recall at all. Uh, fifty-three dollars. Fifty-three dollars on that. We're gonna do the Kaiser Yorkie. We like this little bad boy right here. Oh, this yeah. is the Pocket Candy Modern. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it has a hole for no reason that you can put your. It's a helicopter. <laughs> uh, circular guys, accent. I didn't even ask what the blade was on this. What was the what's the blade seal? CBM one S thirty five. S thirty five. Yeah. Uh, S thirty five on this de designed by Ray Laconico. Uh, titanium handles, nice frame lock with a steel liner, uh, with a steel insert there uh, to do that. It is not a reversible pocket clip mm -hmm. on this thing, but gosh, guys, this is a gorgeous little knife from it is, It's so Kaiser. sleek. It's like, it's a very yep. gentleman And knife. you're getting a lot of material in that. You're getting S35 and titanium for 160 bucks. That's ridiculous. 160 bucks on that. And then we finish up with the Benchmade oh. Freak. The prettiest freak. I like your sound effect. Did you? Did you like your sound right. effect? So, uh, <laughs> I am Optimus Prime. Sorry. It transformed from a knife into a gun. I was That's concerned. Right. And then into a train. Sure going on. <laughs> Super Steel. Uh, yeah. CBM M4. M4. With a Cerakote finish on yep. this thing. Thumb ramp. G10 handles that are sculpted. It is red anodized liners with red barrel spacers that just really sets this thing I'm telling you, you off. Did, this doesn't even do justice it doesn't. to it. It's just a uh, gorgeous yeah. knife. Like, Ambidextrous what? pocket clip, axis lock, so you can do this and close it up. This is a bench made and open it up. that I think you really have to hold to believe. I love this knife. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Price on this one. 192 192 We yep. were getting all of that. If you had to pick one, what would you pick? Oh. If you could only take one from the table, what would you pick? Go ahead, Swags. It's in your pocket. <laughs> wow. Hello, Myra. Pick it, Andy. I'll go last this time. I'm going to let you have it, but I'm going to take this. Kershaw Weston. I, it was between that and the Yorkie. Really? Yeah. We're going to leave the freak on the table. I, oh, <sighs> that's almost upsetting, guys. Come on. All right, you know why? Size. <laughs> I, you know what's funny is I'm afraid to lose things like this. No, I, I, I'd agree. I mean, this this one I this wouldn't is, carry very this much. This is a full size reason. EDC too. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Um, that'd be something I wear anytime I wear red lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. For Andy too. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> I knew it was going there. I just decided to beat it. No, I, I, yeah. There's something about the action and the feel and the size in this Yorkie that just it doesn't. Sucker for a Kershaw. Sucker no, for right. Speed Safe. You're right. Um, and gosh, 18 bucks. I just love the fact that it's this amazing. is just so light. And with it being as light as it is, like, you know how you can get a sundress that has a belt up here. You could literally put it on there. It would not weigh it down. I, I do know how to do that. Dress, I thought, well, if I only had a knife, it wouldn't weigh it down. I have a yellow one that would <laughs> really bring out your eyes. <laughs> um, I like the fact that this is a limited run. Yeah. No, that's really, really nice, uh, as well as this and that. Uh, yeah. There's not a, there's not one on the table, though, that I wouldn't carry. Right. Absolutely. Like I'm completely serious. Absolutely. Feel the difference, and you can barely even feel like it's been. Do you know why that is, right? So, so, good. so they do the different stuff to it after the parts are there. So they are sure. now sanding this down and finishing it. 
yeah. after it's in there. Yeah, yeah. but so I it's just, smooth. It's, it's ridiculous. And when you have high quality work, it gets completely smooth. Yeah, oh, I of course. Carry these together. Yeah, mm-hmm. why not? <laughs> why not? Drop this in my pocket underneath the wallet and everything, and clip this on my pants. For me, it was hard not to get this one just because it has such uh, a beautiful you. pattern onto it. Are we just gorgeous. gonna pick up every knife? Yeah. yeah. Nice. You know what? In that Gerber, it's I worth it. I love that Gerber. I like that handle. Yeah. I love, love the way it feels. I did not like the sound that you made scratching your nail on it. <laughs> okay, no, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. nope, your fingers And on ears. that note, guys, we are brought to you by <laughs> Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. If Ever. you haven't already done it, subscribe to the channel. Tell all your friends about YouTube. We're really trying to grow our YouTube presence, right? Yes. And, and we want to do that. So get do that on YouTube. If you get in your car and you want to listen to the podcast, just go to Apple iTunes. You can find us We've there. We've got some exciting things on YouTube coming out soon, too. Uh, We're about to start ramping up some new product videos, yep. some different product videos. Mm-hmm. So yes. on YouTube, you can grab swag reports. You can grab... Swags. Swags. Reports. reports. I know, right? You can grab, of course, Guys Talk Knives right. weekly on YouTube. And soon to be some some really different product videos that are kind of out in the field and, and showing off the knives. So you can you can see what all they do. Make sure you're visiting Facebook every day too. Flash sales every single day drop at nine a.m. Yep. Uh, Swags videos drop at six forty-five a.m. every single day. Oh, if you subscribe you on YouTube, this face will be in your email box every what? single day. Right there, showing you something and new. Probably making that noise at some point. Oh man, I make that noise a lot. It's gotten. So, do we have any questions? Oh, we're not live. Boo. Boo. How many people are watching? Boo. How many people are watching? Zero. You're zero. One. No. One. No. One person is watching. <laughs> One person. We were watching, Andy. Four. Nice. To two people. John is and watching. John. <laughs> knocked on the wall. Five he literally knocked on the watching wall. watching because we count as well. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Guys, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. This has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives. Almost live. Bye. Ish. Bye. Er. Oh, wow. <laughs>